As a child, I'd buy a lot of video game magazines. Even though I never properly read them, video game magazines were still a great source of amusement for me. Seeing all these new games I'd never heard of before, reading the scores and finding out which ones were the best. I used to get a lot of joy just out of aspiration. If I ever got something like a demo disc or preview tape, I'd go through them over and over. I'm amazed I never wore them out. Though not my first, NGC was a magazine I really enjoyed as a kid. The magazine was one of the reasons why I chose the game for both the PS2 growing up. The magazine ran for just over four years and it's good to collect if you are a fan of GameCube. The magazine began in the early 90s as Superplay before being rebooted as N64. The last issue of N64 magazine contained a preview for the first NGC in the form of a slide puzzle. People actually cut out the puzzle and solved it. The name change wasn't the only redesign. I've never known a magazine to go through so many redesigns in such a short time. The magazine even had its own mascot. Originally, it was Worldly Bloke, a globe of arms and legs who loved to play Nintendo. Eventually, Worldly Bloke had run its course and was replaced with a new mascot in the form of Njiki, who in NGC's words was a fitter, prettier, raunchier Worldly Bloke. The writing team changed a lot over the years, but one thing was always the same. They loved Nintendo. It wasn't just the team who were artistic either. Readers often sent in their own artwork and creations such as this great Mighty Blue Birthday King. One of the best contests the magazine ever ran was the Luigi's Mansion contest where readers were asked to create and send in a Luigi for the chance of winning an imported Nintendo GameCube. The magazine was very big on the import scene and was often a few games which never saw a release in the United Kingdom. They would teach you things like how to mod your console and how to speak Japanese. All together now, why why? The magazine also liked to give people their money back by offering game vouchers. Good thing no one ever used them. Oh well, at least no one ever pulled out the posters. The game reviews were always in depth, and just in case you missed an issue, NGC listed the scores of all the GameCube games they reviewed, making it a great buyer's guide. The exclusive reviews always had all some signs that fitted the game they were reviewing. One of the weirdest reviews they ever did was for a Japanese game called Gifia, which they couldn't even score. Speaking of reviews, an infamous one was for Star Fox Adventures, which had been hyped as a killer app for the GameCube. Yet with all the hype surrounding it, NGC only saw something that could have been much more. The issue also had this on the back page. People wrote to NGC about it following that issue, many wondered if the magazine was bitter about Where's Departure. Many people complained about the Star Fox score, with many more joined them and the magazine gave a negative review to Kirby Air Ride. As a joke, NGC gave them the score they wanted, and yes, people did stick it over the original. NGC then gave out another cutout score and told those people where to stick it. The magazine had a section where people pointed out printing mistakes. When I first saw this one, I thought it was a joke. Nope, they actually misprinted the correction corner. There was also Planet Game Boy, which split from NGC and became Advanced Magazine. Eventually, Advanced Magazine folded and handheld returned to NGC in the form of NGC Pocket. Speaking of handhelds, does anyone remember what NGC thought the DS would originally look like? No? Remember Starcraft Ghost? A game that's been in the works for over a decade now? Over the years, NGC were lucky enough to have multiple interviews with Shigeru Miyamoto. Miyamoto was even nice enough to leave a thank you message. He was a fan of NGC. You know who else was a fan of NGC? Patrick Stewart! With the Wii on the horizon, NGC's time was coming to a close and a new magazine would replace it. Before we leave, I have two more things left to say. Anyone want a Reggie pinup? No? And how about a Reggie cat mask? 